is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by unbeaten Carly Skelly. Carly, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, yeah. I'm good. Now, last time we spoke, a few months ago, you were heading into a, a WBC International title fight at Super Bantam. And you were kind of bemoaning the fact that you weren't getting offered fights close to your natural weight. Um, and now you've got a world title shot at Bantam. You must be over the moon. Yeah, made up. Yeah, just I've been patient now when it come and finally we've got there. So, yeah, looking forward to it. How, how did it all come about? Because I think most people assume that Jamie Mitchell, who beat Shannon Courtney for the WBA bantamweight title. Well, she beat her to win the title. Courtney had already been stripped, of course, on the scales. Most people yeah. assume that Courtney would take up a rematch. I think she's had an injury as well. How did your opportunity come about? So we literally just um, got a message mid-December. So I've known about it for a little while. So right through Christmas, I've been training for it. Um, yeah, I was made up. It, did, it came as a surprise when, when um, expected from me. So made up with it then. And getting to go on a, a big show out in the States as well. Yeah, definitely. Like I've worked hard, you know, turning over. It, it, it's hard. You're on these small old shows selling tickets and stuff, and and I've kept going. And I've had like a um, like a bit of a break when I boxed so, um, on the matchroom bill a couple of years ago for the Commonwealth. And since then, it's it's just been like a little bit of a roller coaster. You know, I've had my highs, my lows, and stuff. But yeah, I've kept working. I've stayed dedicated to the sport, and I knew my time would come. Um, so finally, it's here. What's the difference going to be, in your view, between you at Bantamweight and where you've been fighting at Super Bantam or above? Um, it, it'll be ideal. Obviously, I've been getting in with girls who are naturally bigger. So, you know, we, we both make the weight on the day at Bant Super Bantam. But then I'm struggling to keep my weight up at that weight. <laughs> they're, they're probably, you know, the weighing in and they're going to put like a good bit of weight on. Whereas I was always just falling short and just slightly under the weight. So it weren't my natural weight. And I only came up for it to box um, Timlin. Um, what was over a year ago, two years ago now. And I just stayed at that weight because the fights were there. So for me now, getting back down to my natural natural weight, I'm fighting girls, my height, my weight, I'm going to be stronger. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see, um, to see how it goes. You work, of course, you've got kids. Are you going to be able to get any kind of time off from work to, to help prepare for this huge fight? Yeah, I've been dead lucky, so... It was actually when I was boxing um, on the last matchroom bill when I boxed for the Commonwealth title. Round about six months later, I ended up joining the agency with work so that I could pick and choose my own hours. Because mm. obviously, you know, when you're fighting for title fights, there's a lot of training and a lot of commitment that needs to go into it. And the last couple of fights that I've boxed for now have been title fights, so a lot of efforts had to go into it. So I've been lucky enough and been able to pick my own shifts and I've been focusing probably on the um, the boxing more so the past couple of months. Oh, that's great news. What, what yeah. did you make of um, Jamie Mitchell's fight with Shannon Courtney? Um, I thought she won it. She won it comfortably as well. Um, I think she's gone in with a, a not the best Shannon. Not saying I think Shannon's, you know, this great fighter. I've, mm. I've always thought she's a beatable fighter. Um, but... You know, she went in the best place. You could see that mentally. She's just missed the weight. You're not going to go into a fight after missing your weight, feeling great. So she was already, I think, on a bit of um, on a on a downside injury wise. I don't know what the score is that she went into the fight. So you, you don't go into a fight if you if you're injured. So I don't really know what the situation's been there. But yeah, I thought she she lost. She won the fight comfortably, Jamie Mitchell. Um, but she was in with someone that you know, went backwards and got herself caught up in the ropes and, you know, she's going to meet a different fighter on the 5th of Feb. Well, that's what I was going to say. Looking at the two styles, it seems like it's going to be kind of a head-on collision, a, a bit of a war and an entertaining fight. Is that is that what we should anticipate? Yeah, definitely. You know, like, if you've seen my fight, I'm a pressure fighter, I go forward. But like I always say, there is more to me. I can do more than that. It's just I like to, I like to bring it and I stick to what I say. I've boxed people that said, like, I'm going to come forward. It's going to be a fight, and they haven't, they haven't come with that. So, you know, if she brings it to me, then it will. It'll be a great fight um, to watch. Whether she does keep coming forward when she's in the ring with me, we'll, we'll see on the night. Any concerns about the judging aspect with it being abroad? Um, do you know what? I've, I've, I've had a draw in the past that I didn't agree with. There's always a distrust there, if I'm being honest. But and that was here, so, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. That's not going to happen to me again. I'll just do more than enough this time round. What does it mean to you the the not just winning the world title, but you've worked so hard. You've only still a few fights into your career as well, through no fault of your own, the inactivity. But just yeah. try and sum it up what it will mean to you if you are successful. Oh, do you know what? I can't even say put it into words. It'll it'll mean so much to me. Um, to be given such an amazing opportunity and because I've worked so hard and I've had like a few bumps on the way of getting a draw that I didn't agree with and then not getting the rematch. Not, I'm, you know, I'm not sour about it. I accept things as they are and I just keep going, but it'll just make it that bit sweeter that I finally get like what I deserve. When you first turned over and decided to give this a real go, did you kind of anticipate, I know it can be quite quick to get to a world title shot in the female side of the sport, but did you anticipate you'd get there kind of still quite quickly as you have no it was always you know I've got a lot of self-belief and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and where I'm, I'm getting to where I'm getting but I never thought it had happened so quickly it's kind of just like it's it's spiraled um but I'm just enjoying every minute of it great stuff I'm really really glad for you and um, when I saw the news I, I was delighted and obviously not as delighted as you but um no it's brilliant and um wish you the very best of luck when, when are you going out there uh, next weekend all right, good, good. So I get a little break from the kids as well, which is always a bonus. <laughs> One way of looking at it. But it's hard trying to, you know, juggle it all, trying to like oh, make sure yeah. they're all supported when I'm tired and like I am like making the weight this time around. So yeah, I feel I feel for them more. So. <laughs> well, you'll have a nice, uh, hopefully shiny belt to bring back to show them afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Right, great stuff. All right, well, I'll let you get back to it because as you say, it's very busy for you, but... Um, Really appreciate it. And yeah, best of luck. Oh, thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. All right. Speak soon. Bye-bye.